Hi, I'm Lindsay Corcoran from thedailyshrewsbury.com and this is your weekly news. Ovals, not arrows, will mark the major chains to the ballots of Shrewsbury voters in 2012 with the purchase of 10 new voting machines approved by the Board of Selectmen on Tuesday. The new voting machines are being purchased with $65,000 allocated at the 2008 annual town meeting and will cost a total of $53,850, $4,500 per precinct, and a, pre a PC-based election accumulation package. These new machines will be in place for the presidential primary in March 2012. Welcome to Shrewsbury News, brought to you by thedailyshrewsbury.com. The polls will be open this Tuesday, October 18th, for a special town election. Voters will decide on funding for the library construction product, project. The polls will be open from 7 a.m. to 8 p.m. Be sure to watch SGTV 30 for the results or go to thedailyshrewsbury.com. While Shrewsbury students continue to perform at extremely high levels on the MCAS test this year, the district is planning to look at science curriculum following the release of the 2011 results. Assistant Superintendent Mary Beth Banos said in her report to the school committee on Wednesday night that overall Shrewsbury students continue to perform well on MCAS this year. She noted, however, that there were some areas relative to the other scores that could need improvement, including science and technology. There was a drop in advanced scores for students in grade five this year, down to 28% from 36 last year. In grade eight, there continues to be a high number of students not meeting the proficient benchmark at 38%. Shrewsbury's roads scored high on a recent survey performed in town, a step performed prior to implementing a new pavement management service. The roads, along with sidewalks and municipal parking lots, were assessed over the last year by Beta Inc., the strategic engineering firm that is implementing the computerized pavement management service, and individually graded on a 100-point scale. Overall, Shrewsbury's roads averaged an 83, a high number for a community implementing this type of system for the first time, according to Beta representatives. Highway Superintendent John Knipp said that in the past, no systematic pavement management system existed within the town. In the report presented at the Board of Selectmen meeting on Tuesday, Selectmen commended Knipe's efforts. physical response. It's an organic thing. Color's like an extra emotion. It's a learned experience. It's alive. Many good things are easy to spot, even in black and white. A maple leaf, birds in flight, our trees in summer. But there's one bad thing that's also easy to spot because it is black and white the Asian longhorn beetle. This insect is killing our trees, but with your help, we can defeat it. It's as simple as black and white. Look for the beetle, and if you spot it, report it at beetlebusters.info. Shrewsbury PTO groups are encouraging parents to give direct donations as an alternate option to participating in so many fundraisers run by the school annually. Several PTOs are running direct donation campaigns, including the Oak Sherwood Middle School PTO and Patton Elementary School's PTO. The Shrewsbury Public Schools have been awarded an almost $1.4 million grant to help improve the physical education program. The Carol M. White Physical Education Program grant from the U.S. Department of Education will provide a little over $1.3 million over three years and will fund a program named Get Fit Adventure. This program will provide equipment, resources, and staff training to ultimately help students improve their exercise habits and their nutrition through enhanced physical education programming at the schools, as well as family activities in conjunction with the Parks and Recreation Department and Shrewsbury Youth and Family Services. Dogs and their owners ran the unique 5K to help raise money for the Patton Elementary School playground on Sunday. 
Over 175 runners, many with dogs, stuffed animals, or some even dressed as dogs, participated in the race or the one mile fun run. The Shrewsbury Women's Club, a decades old organization with over 180 members, gives back to the community in several ways throughout the year. At their most recent monthly meeting, members met to have a fashion show featuring clothing from St. Anne's Human Services to help raise awareness of their cause. The organization sells donated clothing to raise money for their food pantry services that help needy families around town. The group of women has already given out $6,000 in scholarships to Shrewsbury seniors heading off to college and made their annual $1,000 donation to Shrewsbury Youth and Family Services. See thedailyshrewsbury.com for more on how to join the Women's Club. I'm Lindsay Corcoran and this has been your weekly news. To see these stories and much more, visit thedailyshrewsbury.com. Be sure to tune into SPAC 28 again next Thursday at 7 and 10 p.m. Thanks for watching.